When I was doing research for my last video, I came across a really interesting finding. Data engineering is now growing faster than data science. I got to thinking, what does this mean for the data domain as a whole? Is it a good thing? And why is this happening now? Data engineering so hot right now. For the most part, data engineering is upstream from data science. The work that they do building data warehouses and data pipelines allows data analysts, data scientists, and machine learning engineers to build models and create insights from data. Why is this domain that should precede data science growing in popularity after data science did. For better or for worse, the world doesn't always work linearly. Data science became sexy because many of the top technology companies were making gobs of money with it. It's like everywhere I look, money, money, money. Even 10% of this would be quite a windfall. Ugh. Non-tech companies saw the value that data science and machine learning were providing, and they soon followed suit. Unfortunately for many of these companies following the trend, they didn't have the data infrastructure to properly leverage data scientists. Many of the data science roles that they were hiring for, they ended up doing data engineering work, work that they weren't necessarily specialized for. I personally think that this mistake cost these companies millions, possibly billions of dollars. It also led to a lot of confusion in the market about what a data scientist does. And this is a topic for an entirely different video because it is so large. What the top technology companies neglected to mention when they were describing the success of their machine learning models was that they'd already built the infrastructure to support data science. They've had data engineers or similar roles on staff for years, sometimes even since the start of the company, making sure that the data could be leveraged by sophisticated tools. Again, it wasn't that the top technology companies just hired these roles earlier. They also built their businesses with data and scalability in mind. They spent a lot of time up front thinking about how to store their data and make it useful to them in the long run. This is a pretty common theme with a lot of these big technology companies in general. They build systems to work for them in their specific business setting. For example, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, and quite a few other of these behemoths, they have their own suites of machine learning tools that are used internally. You think that they don't also have unique approaches to managing the huge volumes of data that they collect? For most of these technology companies, their businesses just simply wouldn't work if they couldn't monitor their data consistently. So they obviously had to build out this infrastructure. So these big tech companies, they either hired data engineers early or they started with them. What about the other companies? I believe that the massive uptick in data engineering's popularity comes from many less technical companies realizing they made a massive mistake. They needed to hire people to fix their data before hiring all these data scientists. And unlike cutting edge tech companies and startups, most other companies were not explicitly designed to scale. They need a tremendous amount of help to upgrade their data infrastructure and to make it usable for analysis, machine learning, and eventually AI. As you can imagine, this is not a small task. The boom for data engineering is a correction for the companies that jumped straight into the data science bandwagon before realizing they weren't ready for it. If that was a test, that wasn't fair because I wasn't ready. If you're interested in if your company is ready for data science, I have a hopefully helpful video pinned in the top right corner about the data science maturity process of organizations. So is this a good thing, a bad thing, or somewhere in between? I personally think that this is great for the future of data science and AI. Companies with better data can build clear infrastructure focused on building useful models rather than ad hoc tasks. In my mind, this could be the springboard for a true data science or AI revolution. This also should help build more clarity around roles in the field. Data scientist has been the blanket term for a lot of roles in the space, and a clear separation between what they do and what data engineers do clears up a lot of ambiguity for companies as well as job hunters. Most of all, this signals to me that data science is going to go viral in the foreseeable future. Again, if companies are investing this heavily in the pipeline upstream from data scientists, how big is the demand for data scientists, machine learning engineers, and AI researchers gonna be when they finally get the existing data infrastructure into a good spot. To be clear, for a lot of companies, data engineers aren't an entirely new role. They've been called data architects, ETL developers, database developers, or even SQL developers. So why is all this popularity happening now specifically? Honestly, these are all just guesses, but there have been a few forces that I think are fairly relevant. The first I've covered in, in depth in this video so far, and that's the fact that data science has taken off so much. It has now been enough time that many companies have full data science teams built out. Companies have also had enough time to realize that these teams aren't driving as much value as expected because they're lacking quality data. I shall need more data for my estimate. Second, Snowflake and a couple other massive companies have gone public 
with clearly focused products on data. Other companies are realizing how much the market is valuing data related projects, and they're taking action based on that. It's a little bit hard not to be kind of self-serving with this last one, but I think the data communities these days are doing a great job highlighting the importance of quality data. I've seen great posts on LinkedIn talking about this, I've seen informational videos and articles, some of which I've linked below. And I've also had quite a few guests on my podcast discussing these things. I think that the pandemic has encouraged people to be more vocal on platforms like LinkedIn, and this has really helped to spread sentiment and awareness around the importance of data quality. Since I've been talking about the value of data engineering so much in this video, a natural question might come up. Should you become a data engineer? Should you even consider this over a career in data science? Honestly, this all really depends on you and your interests and aptitudes. First, you should explore the, the various data roles in the data domain and the differences between them. I have a video pinned above that should give you just a little additional information on all the different tracks. Right now, I think it would be a little easier to land a data engineering role compared to a data science role just because of the demand. And you don't necessarily need quite as much education in most cases to land this data engineering role. If you feel like you'd enjoy it, then by all means, go for it. From my perspective, most data engineering roles have just a bit more structure and clearer expectations than other roles in data. Again, if this is for you, makes a ton of sense. Data engineering still has many of the analytical components, but as the name suggests, it does have more similarities to software engineering than data analysis or data science do uh, some of the time. Still, going from data engineer to data scientist is definitely doable if you find that you prefer the model building and the exploratory stuff. I've linked an awesome video in the description from my friend Sundas on her journey going from a data engineer to data scientist. Clearly, I'm not a data engineer, so take my thoughts here with a grain of salt. And for those that are interested in learning more about this profession, I've linked a video from an actual data engineer, the Seattle data guy, about how to break into data engineering. I hope this video helps you to better understand the data landscape, especially as it relates to data engineering. If you enjoyed the video, please select that like button, click subscribe and turn on notifications to trigger an alert when I post my next video. It's a little uh, data engineering humor for you there. Until next time, good luck on your data science journey.